Hi, this is Austin with Brush for Hire, and today we're going to be painting a Termagant in the colors of High Fleet Kraken. To paint along with me, you'll need the following colors. Minotaur's Earth, Citadel's Ushabti Bone, Ceramite White, Abaddon Black, Corn Red, Carnburn Crimson, and Agrax Earthshade. So we started out with our model primed in black. We've actually used the new Minotaur Black Primer uh, which is not quite out on the market yet but will be very soon. I'm actually beta testing it right now and it is working fantastically. Very nice and smooth, holds on to pretty much anything I've thrown it at. First going to use Minotaur Earth which we're going to use in our airbrush and just going to do an overspray. We're not trying to get any of the areas underneath. We're letting the airbrush do all the work and leave shadows on the undersides of features and details. This really helps speed up the process. Our goal with pretty much any Tyranids project is to get them done as quickly as possible because there's usually going to be hundreds of them. So it's very, very important to keep moving quickly. Our next step, once that's dried, is we're going to mix Ceramite White and Ushab Bone. I'm just mixing it up on a little piece of cardboard here. We're going to be doing some dry brushing so we want a nice big soft brush and we're going to knock off pretty much all the paint we can. We don't want to have very much paint at all left on the brush when we go to do our dry brushing. So now with almost all the paint removed from the brush we're just going to do a light dry brushing over the entire model even the parts that aren't going to end up being this sort of bony fleshy color. Mm. This will just help pop some of that detail out. And once again, we're going for speed here, so this is a very fast process as opposed to doing line highlighting or any kind of wet blending. This is just really, really quick and easy. Next, we're on to the chitin, where we're going to use some Abaddon Black and Corn Red. Uh, we're mixing these together to get a really, really dark red as our base. almost like a, a deep burgundy color. You may end up having to do more than one coat of this down on the chitin, but I like using those base colors uh, a lot because they do tend to go down in one coat and cover completely. I've just thinned mine a little more than I had to on this, so you can usually get that in one coat when you're using nothing but the Citadel base colors. I'm just trying to trim out around the edges of those plates. And we've got a bunch of these plates all over the body. It's the uh, top of the head, on the, uh, the thighs, top of the gun. And so we're just going to hit all those with a nice even coat of this stuff. We also want to hit all of the hooves and claws and things with a coat of Abaddon Black. So just pick out those details really quick and easy. The Abaddon Black is really, really opaque and will cover everything in just about one coat. Next up, we're going to use the Karmberg Crimson and drop that into some of the recesses where we've got this uh, recessed ribbing. I think that it looks really nice. It helps uh, bring out some of those details really quickly. On speed paint jobs like this, I tend not to use a lot of washes just because they take a long time to dry. So always keep that in the back of your mind if you're trying to get through a big project really quickly. Now we're going to use a little bit of Ceramite White on the teeth. We've got it thinned down, not so much that it's going to run into the recesses between the teeth, but so that it releases onto the painted surface really easily and we don't have to really dig at it. The more you have to fight with it, the greater the chance for error. It's just like saying a sharper knife is much safer than a dull knife because you don't have to apply as much pressure. And same applies here. Once the white on the teeth is dried, we're going to drop a little bit of Agrax Earthshade in on them. This will simulate the gums or at least some definition between the teeth. Otherwise, they tend to get lost in the background color there that is uh, very, very similar. And now with a great deal of the other details done, we're going to start in on a little bit of the detail that we put onto the carapace. We're just using corn red, and I like to start out uh, on some of these panels, some of the larger ones, with a line along the back edge, and then applying a little bit of pressure right as the, the brush contacts the back, we start making these striations in it, uh, wanting the ends of the striations um, starting 
furthest away from the the face that we're pulling towards uh, being very light and wispy and they kind of get wider um, and and appear I guess deeper as they they go to the the edge there the result is that we end up getting a texture that looks like the type of ridges you would see in maybe a seashell or other hard organic chitin we've got tons of surfaces all over that we've painted with that really dark burgundy that we're going to do this on just sort of pick a direction and stick with it as far as uh, which side it's fading towards once you're done with that we're going to switch back over to the Agrax Earthshade and I'm just going to drop a little bit of that down into some of the uh, spaces in between the lighter chitin or the the more fleshy looking segments here and last we are going to take a little bit more ceramite white and we're going to hit the eyes again got to be very very patient and get your paint to the same consistency like we talked about before uh, thinner paint will stick to a thicker paint or uh, to the thickest paint there is which is dried paint uh, but you don't want it so thin that it runs into the crevices we're actually going to highlight these teeth again it's really a pretty quick process you can kind of just gloss over all of them at once um, if you if you get your pressure right and since we did get a little bit sloppy with the Agrax Earthshade I'm gonna go back in with some of that Minotaur Earth and just clean up some of those edges just a little bit shouldn't take more than just a few seconds to touch up some of these areas and that will wrap us up for this model well it only took me about 15 minutes to paint this model with a little bit of practice and on bigger projects where you're painting tons of these you'll find that you can go even faster if you're interested in the grips that I used in this tutorial you can buy them on our website brushforhire.com in our store there you'll find lots of other great things including terrain kits and other tools so go check it out this has been a painting tutorial on painting a Tyranid Termagant in the color scheme of the High Fleet Kraken. Thank you for watching. Please tune in for future episodes, and as always, happy wargaming.